the most annoying thing about having an old car, it's not even that old, about 70 something, 23, is having miles per hour instead of kilometers per hour. So instead of messing around with trying to do the calculations in my head when I'm near a speed camera, I got myself this GPS heads up display from Repco. But I don't want to plug it into my USB connector or my cigarette lighter. I want to hardwire it. Let's do it. Got a USB that would plug into your power adapter or your cigarette lighter if you've got one, but or if you've got a USB, but this is an old car, it does not have that. So I bought this cheap step down converter that you can buy on eBay for eight bucks. It converts USB into a power and an earth cable that you can then hardwire from there. There is my earth. That's something else, don't worry about that. Here is the power cable that they both come off this module and you've got another one if you need it. So I'll have to tuck that away. Power cable boo -boo 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 -boo, running all the way along here into a two amp fuse. Even though it's running through another fuse, that's one not really a problem, but boo -boo -boo, run across to the fuse box and I've got a double connector there. And I just connected the power into this one that turns on with ignition. I don't even know what it is, but when I turn the car on, it works. And so let's start this bad boy up. And there we go. Easy. I haven't figured out how to set this yet. It's got a bunch of buttons along the back here. They're all different, you can figure that out for yourself, but there you go, how to hardwire a heads up display from Super Cheap. Probably Repco and a few others. And after a lot of fucking around, I need to put that little mat there, but it doesn't really come up well on the video, but you can see it pretty well where I'm sitting. I'll try and get a better angle. Yeah, you need to put that little fucking mat behind it. It comes with a reflector. A bit better in the dark. Yeah, there you go. So you can see time, that is wrong, but I don't think it's latched onto a GPS yet and we're going into a garage, but it works nicely.